Today's Toy Spot, we're having a look at the Hasbro Transformers Generations Autobots Scoop. Autobot Scoop, not only do you get the figure, but he also comes with two Target Masters. This is a great throwback to the, I guess, the second tier of Target Masters, not the initial, what, three or so that they released on the Autobot side, but it was the figures that followed afterwards where we were getting a little more simplified Target Masters, but they could merge together, and Scoop is a great homage to, uh, to those classic uh, Target Master Transformers. Before we open up Scoop and we have a look at the figure with the two Target Masters, just want to look at this packaging. I'm loving this, this Generations, Transformers Generations packaging that they're starting to produce. Uh, for starters, it looks like one of the Target Masters is wearing a bling necklace. The other one is actually, you can't quite see it, but he's actually down there. But I kind of chuckle every time I look at this packaging. It kind of looks like he has gone to his bigger brother about some kids that are picking on him down the street. And Scoop has walked out and has proceeded to say, was it those kids over there that were picking on you? And to which his target mask would say, you got it! Hilarity would ensue. But I do laugh every time I look at this packaging. It does look like he is about to hand some justice to some little punks in the neighborhood. On the back of the package, target master figures combine to form a super weapon. Uh, Scoop transforms from a loader mode to Autobot mode. And your read-up says Autobot Scoop is one of the most relentless warriors on the battlefield. There's no such thing as danger when you can blast enemies with Target Master allies like Caliburst and Hole Punch. Uh, stat sheets are down below. There's a little stat breakdown for you. Courage is considerably high. Courage stands at a whopping 10. Uh, you can also follow Transformers on YouTube. Did you know that? Did you know that? You can also follow them also, also on Facebook. Uh, what I am going to do, though, is take a break. I'm going to get this opened up, and when we come back, we're going to get a better look at Autobot Scoop. There's more heading your way, guys. Don't go anywhere. Stay tuned. We'll start the review first with having a look at the two Target Masters, Caliburst and Hole Punch. Now, they're very interesting in the sense that they don't look like regular Target Masters, at least what I consider to be Target Masters. I mean, looking at them, they kind of, to me, remind me more of like something you would see in He-Man, kind of like the Rock Lords. Uh, they're very stocky, they're very beefy. Uh, they're definitely more muscular looking Target Masters than what we've seen before. Uh, their transformations, and actually I should say uh, articulation, they have ball joint in, in the arms. Uh, no head swivel or anything like that, nor do they have any articulation in the legs. Pretty much articulated arms, that's as good as you're going to get. But I, I like their, like, I even like the faces on them. They're very interesting looking. If this is how we're going to begin Target Masters moving forward, maybe getting away from the, you know, the designs of like a nightstick that we got with Classics Cyclonus, you know what? I'm not too upset over it. I think they're kind of neat looking. Transformation on them uh, look to be the exact same. You would just take the front or the back section of the Target Masters, flip it forward. Then take the trigger here, move that down, and then take the arms, and the arms, there's a peg there and a socket there, socket and a peg. You just bring these two pieces together, and they just snap into place, like so. So there you have Caliburst or and or Hole Punch. Put that to the side, same idea with the other Target Master, bring this forward, bring this around, and then take these two pieces the two arms, and again, they just peg into one another. Just like that. And there you have two Target Masters. They're kind of, again, they're really neat. They're, again, they kind of just look like, yes, they're just laying down with their arms folded behind their backs, but still, I mean, and they're different from one another. That's why I like two. One's a singular barrel laser cannon, one's a double barrel, so that's kind of neat. You can take either, or take both Target Masters, and there's pegs on the back of Scoop. Just peg this into place. 
I kind of wish though this back section locked into place somehow. It doesn't, it just sits loose. But you can take both target masters and plug them into the back section here. Ugh. Again, I don't like how the back section here is not, it, it's just a loose piece. You can just see how it swings back and forth. But lock that into place. And ah, <laughs> there we go. There's one of them, and then the other one would go like this. You can also take them and peg them into the side. Although, uh, yeah, I mean you're not going to be able to clear the uh, the wheel all that well. But I mean, if you wanted to kind of angle them up, you could do that. And also, there's a peg point here too. But again, they're not going to clear the wheel, so you could do that more so when you get them into. Uh, scoop here into uh, to robot mode. But there you have the two target masters. We'll just put those to the side. Having a look at Scoop, I like him. I really like him. I've always been crazy about orange. Anything orange I really like. Aquaman, I've always loved his classic outfit. Again, orange. But uh, it's just a, it's a neat looking Scoop. It lifts up and down and this kind of area here is a little more open, but uh, it's a decent looking vehicle. It rolls very easily, and it does have articulation. There's a point right here where it hinges, and uh, there's also, uh, well, this would be his transformation. Hey, hi, there's your head. Uh, this section right here would also hinge and hinge here as well. This area here hinges backwards. So, I mean, you can, you know, you can pose it certain ways. You can pretend, pretend he's actually lifting stuff. You can even put the target masters in there if he wants to be carrying them. That's kind of more ridiculous than anything else. But I like it. I really like uh, the look of Scoop here. I guess his only downside, though, is this section right here. If you look closely enough, he's he's driving himself and he's looking through the front windshield. But aside from that, I, I like the I really like the look of the vehicle. And then the underside, there's most of the robot mode there. But uh, as it goes for vehicle modes, a okay. I really like it. The transformation on Scoop is actually quite easy. I'm just going to take the back legs. I find a lot of the elements to Scoop is very reminiscent of like the old generation toys. You take the back legs here and just unhinge them. And really while you're at it, you might as well just fold the, let the feet out. Fold out the feetsies. And uh, I don't think he doesn't have any uh, heels or anything like that. But I mean he still stands really easy. I don't have any problems with him toppling over. Uh, pull the legs out. And then there's the bottom section of scoop. Next, unhinge the arms here and just bring them out from the torso section here. And while you're at it, you'll see this section right here spins. You want to spin these down and just straighten the arms back up. We'll correct those later. The neat bit of trans transformation is when you get to the waist section here. Take the waist, hinge it up, and then you can bring the, the rest of the arms forward straighten them out like this, then take the back section here and untab it. Not really even so much untab it, you're just basically uncovering his head. Hey, there's his head! And you hinge it back like this. Take the front section here, snap that into place, and uh, for the most part that actually locks the arm, the arm side sockets in place. Keeps them stable and keeps them from going anywhere. Go ahead and then pull out his arms. And I always say this, I find the hardest part sometimes of transforming transformers is getting their fists out. Sometimes you spend a lot of time, if you don't have the nails for it, sometimes you spend a lot of time getting those fists, those blasted fists out. Take the back section here and fold it up, snap in, not really even snap it again into place, just kind of fold it up, plug it in like that, and then fold this back section down. And then really it's entirely up to you how you want to have it. You could have you could have the scoop actually a couple of different ways. You could have it up if you so wish. You could have it, you know, down if you if you want. Kind of gives them more like junk in the trunk. So you could probably just keep it up. Keep it up like so. I even kind of like to have the scoop higher up like that. And I think it's actually a great way to show the piece off. Bringing Caliburst and Hole Punch once again. They just plug into his hands. A lot easier because his hands really aren't so much holes as they're just open palms. So despite the fact that this blasted trigger is so loose on... Uh, this one's not so bad, but the other target master I find is a little looser. Um, getting it in his hand is not as 
much of a hassle. Just like so. And there you have Scoop with both blasters blazing. Now what you can also do too, what Spotted mentioned when we were looking at him in vehicle mode, you can also peg the target masters into the sides of his arm too. Which is kind of really a, kind of a neat touch, a neat way to kind of display him also is by having the target master on his arm. Um, you know, for one better, you could take the same arm, take the other target master, plug it into place, and you got this real funky double blaster action going on there. You can actually have double blasters too. What you can do, take the yellow target master again, hole punch. Let's just assume it's hole punch. Take calibers now. Unhinge, open up his hands almost as if you were going to transform him back into a robot. Then take the other target master, and uh, you want to just move, move the, the trigger, move that in, and then see this section right here. There's a little rectangular peg on the other side of the target master. There's a little rectangular slot. Take the two, line them up, and peg them into place. And you've got yourself a really neat, actually, double blaster that you can have him hold. It's quite a bit bigger, but still fits in his hand. And it's certainly a much more impressive gun. Uh, because they're two different colors, and it kind of looks like one's really sitting on top of the other. But still, it's a nice looking touch. Put that to the side. Uh, really having a better look at Scoop. I'm loving this guy. I really love his face. Very, very Generation 1, even though Generation 1 would not have as much articulation and stuff like that, but his face is really fun. It's a fun face, and actually, you know what? For the most part, like the new Generation toys have a fun transformation, a fun design to them, and Scoop here has a nice vibrant orange color. The blue on the front of his chest and the Autobot logo really stands out on the orange of the figure. He's got some yellow in his legs and lighter yellow in the hands, but really a not, uh, loving, loving this figure. He does have quite a bit of articulation. Uh, his head does rotate, though it's hindered depending on how you have the scoop. If you have the scoop down, which is entirely your prerogative, if you want to have the scoop down, you can do that. Uh, his head rotates left and right. I like to keep the scoop a little higher up just, again, my matter of preference. Uh, these shoulders are on hinges. They move up due to really transformation. But then he has a nice ball joint in the shoulder socket. He has a hinge in the arm. Uh, no articulation in the hand. He does have a swivel in the waist. And then uh, quite a bit of articulation. A ball joint in the thigh, swivel in the, th in the thigh area, and a bend in the knee. So, hey, you can pretend like he's kicking and dancing and and whatnot. But I uh, really love Scoop quite a bit. Scoop is probably one of my favorite current Transformers Generations figures. He does a lot of things right. He has a good solid vehicle mode and excellent robot mode. And the inclusion of the two Target Masters is the icing on the cake for this fantastic Autobot. Today's Toy Spot, we were having a look at the Hasbro Transformers Generations. Uh, we were looking at Target Master Scoop. Stay tuned, guys. Spot's going to have more Toy Spots heading your way. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.